Hello, today we're going to look at ratio and we're going to look at interpreting ratio, simplifying ratio and also doing a calculation with ratio. So up at the top here I've got the ratio of males to females in the UK in 2014. So the ratio of males to females for people aged between 0 or birth and 14 for every 100 females there were 105 males. And in 2014, for those people in, in the UK that were over 65, for every 100 females, there were 80 males. 80 males. So ratio is really a comparison of, tends to be two quantities, but you can compare as many quantities as you wish. Now, say we were trying to simplify this ratio. So over 65s, males to females, 80 to 100. What we've got to do is got to look and see, it's a bit like a fraction. In fact, it's very similar to a fraction. We've got to simplify both. So what, what goes into both? What goes into 80 and into 100? Well, we're looking for the highest number. So 20 goes into both. So 20, 20 into 80 goes four times and 20 into 100 goes five times. So that's the simplified version. So for over 65s, in the UK in 2014, there were five females to every four males. Now moving on to a question. We've got a question about profits here. Bill and Jane share profits in their company ratio three to five. 2014, their company makes a profit of £240,000. How much do Bill and Jane each receive from the profits? Right, so we've got the ratio 3 to 5. So, 3 shares and 5 shares. So, our total shares must be 8, adding them together. Eight shares. So it'd be handy if we could find one share. So let's work out what we get one share. So the profits, £240,000. If we want one share, divide it by 8. 8 in a 24, three times, and then we've got the zeros left over. So one share is £30,000. Now, who gets three shares and who gets five shares? Well, Bill gets the three shares. He's mentioned first. And Jane gets the five shares. She's mentioned second. So let's work out how much uh, Bill gets. So he gets three shares. So it must be three lots of the one share of the 30,000, three lots of 30,000, that's 90,000 pounds. And Jane? Well, she gets five shares. So it's five multiplied by the 30,000. And that gives us 150,000 pounds. Quick double check. Check the 90,000 and the 150,000 add up to your 240,000 and they do. Goodbye and thanks for watching.